Hi guys, it's Jeffrey and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be another pack with me video. So if you've seen any of my pack with me videos, this will be very similar to that. I'm going to show you guys everything that I'm bringing with me on this trip. I'll also show you the way that I organize my toiletries, everything like that. This trip that I'm going on is to Portland to watch one of my friends play volleyball. So I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm going to get ready now while I talk to you. I just showered and then i'm gonna pack my things i'm just gonna bring a little mini luggage i think because it'll just be easier to keep everything in there and then i'm also gonna bring a backpack which will like have my laptop probably like a book my journal my bible all that stuff in it today i was noticing a lot of substitute teacher jobs popping up which if you don't know i'm a substitute teacher right now while i'm looking for a full-time teaching position but today i did not want to take a job because the, like i knew i was leaving in the afternoon so i could have taken a half day job but i just have to get my things packed i yeah i just didn't take one but those schools can figure out whatever they need those kids need a teacher <laughs> a substitute i'm just really tired from this week and so I needed today off. I needed today to just prep for my weekend. Let's see, what else can we talk about? Upcoming exciting things. It's gonna be my dog Milo's birthday later this month, and I really wanna throw him a birthday party. I just think that would be so fun. Like, I wanna do like a Western theme, so like he can have a little cowboy hat, have a little bandana or something. Like, we can just get little Western theme decorations. I think that'd be so cute. And then we can invite some of our friends over who also have a dog, he can have a little doggy play day. I'm also realizing that my road trip across the country to Indiana is happening soon. So my dad and I need to plan the stops that we're gonna make. We're gonna make some stops so that we can hike. He's gonna stop at like an RC racing track. The reason we're going across the country is because my dad's sister bought a car here in Washington and she lives in Indiana. And so we're driving it to her, which is gonna be really fun but also like it's just gonna be a long drive a lot of time in the car but we're planning some stops so that it's gonna be fun and i'm kind of excited for it it'll break up the monotony of like going to work every day for the week i'll just be like in different states so i'm loving my hair i just recently got it cut like well, I guess maybe it's been like a month now. The shorter sides, it's like off my ears, it's longer in the back. Yeah, someone sent me this barber on Instagram. He works like super close to my house. Like I could literally walk. So good. I will not go back to Great Clips. We'll keep seeing him. He has my business. Okay, hair is done. Skincare is done. Now it's time to pack. All right, first things first, this is the bag that I'm going to be packing. It's just a mini carry-on suitcase, so super small, but it will honestly fit enough outfits and shoes just for this weekend since it's a quick, quick trip. Okay, I'm going to show you everything as I pack it away. First and foremost, the hotel has a pool and hot tub. So of course I'm bringing some sun drink. The first kind of outfit I brought were this green pair of joggers from Lululemon and then this flannel thing from Vineyard Vines. And I think that these just pair really well together and it's like a PNW outfit vibe. I think that the weather will be pretty similar to Washington, which right now is like rainy and kind of fall cold-ish. My mom was looking at the weather and it might be slightly warmer in Portland. So I'm also bringing this overcoat thing that I really like for layering. Cute neutral color so it can be worn with almost anything. I just feel like it looks professional, looks nice. I'm bringing this Columbia raincoat, which I got from my school so it says Taylor on it but I like it because it's super light it's like good for layers I'm bringing a pair of <clears throat> I'm bringing these khaki shorts just because we're going to an indoor gym and I don't know like if it's gonna be hot in there or if we're doing stuff inside during the weekend I'm bringing this polo from Michael Kors as well as this one that's also from Michael Kors they're just solid colors i just wanted a couple options to choose from and then i'm also bringing this brown pair of pants 
And then we're also planning to go on a hike. So I'm bringing this dry fit USC Trojans shirt. Woo, go oh, Trojans. I'm bringing this pair of sweat pants from Nike for the hike, just because I like to bring kind of an older pair of pants, just because hiking can get muddy. And then I'm bringing this shirt that I got from my Southeast Asia trip in college. And I really like it. It's really soft. It's a comfort colors shirt which if you know that brand for t-shirts it's so soft and so nice and of course socks and underwear for this trip next up is toiletries this is super easy and simple and fun because well i'll just show you my toiletries are already packed and ready to go in this bag they were packed from my trip to indiana this summer so i'll just show you everything inside all of my items are super organized in these travel capsules from Cadence. On top here, we have my skincare. In the middle, we have a little bit more random things. I have my curl cream, some mouthwash, and then sunscreen. This bottom row, the big ones, are my shower items, so shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. These capsules have magnets on them to stick together, which helps keep them so organized. Also, they're just super cute and aesthetic. Here's my moisturizer and it's just super nice to be able to have all of my products in these little travel capsules that don't take up too much space magnet together stay super organized in here yeah i can just take everything that i need with me and then i just need to add my toothbrush my deodorant sometimes i take a razor but since i just shaved like yesterday and the trip's only a few days i'm not bringing a razor i also have these mini fragrances which i keep in here i have y from ysl and god is woman by ariana grande right now i'm gonna check and just see how much i have in each one of them so conditioner is looking like it's running a little low so i might refill that one i have a few of these travel capsules that need rinsed out and then refilled so i'm gonna do that now I just washed some of the ones out that needed washed out and then I'm gonna fill them up. It's super, super easy. So this is the body wash one. This one is from Wild, it's Amber and Aloud scent. It smells like sweet and woody and yeah. So there's a fill line in here up close to the top. So you just pour. Yep, that's about where the fill line is, screw it in, make sure everything's nice and tight. Don't want anything to leak, but these are leak proof and TSA approved, which this weekend we're just road tripping, but it is nice to know that they are TSA approved. They can keep solids and liquids in them. I keep liquid toner in one of my capsules and I've had no problems with it leaking. This toner is like almost the same consistency as like water. It keeps very well in here. They these stay very tight and yeah, they're leak proof, which is super amazing. I like having all of my skincare in these small ones because then if I'm ever just going over to like someone's house overnight, I just take my little skincare ones with me because then I can do my skincare routine without missing it. This mouthwash is honestly just enough for like a little weekend trip. Again, there's a fill line in here, which is super handy. Leak proof. I like to stack them all up with each other, like small, medium, and large. They stay really nicely stuck together and they fit right in my bag. Again, I just need to add my toothbrush, toothpaste, dental floss, deodorant, and then I will be good to go. I just realized I never showed you what shoes I'm thinking of bringing. I'm gonna bring these Nike shoes that I got for Christmas. I love the neutral browns and tans. I try and be really careful about only wearing them places I know that they're not gonna get very dirty. The next shoes that I'm gonna bring are these Hoka's and they're my current pair of gym, walking, and running shoes. I'm also gonna be bringing my hiking shoes because we are planning to go on a little hike this weekend. And lastly, I'm gonna bring my foam Birkenstocks because they're a super easy pair of shoe to slip on when I'm at the hotel and I know that we're going to be going down to the pool and the hot tub so these are just perfect for that. All right lastly I need to pack my backpack so I thought I would just kind of pack along as I'm going and show you guys everything that I'm bringing. So again this is my classic black 
Nordace backpack. It's pretty much the main backpack that I use for going to school every day and work and all that. What I currently have in here, I'll show you, and I'm just gonna keep it in here for this trip. This book is Building Thinking Classrooms, and I'm doing this little book study class about teaching math. So if I have any downtime this weekend, I might wanna read maybe when I'm in the car or something. This is my pencil pouch that has a lot of pencils and pens in it. This is my laptop sleeve, which I think my laptop's somewhere in here, so I gotta find it and then put it in the sleeve and tuck it away in my backpack. My laptop charging brick and the charger, it's somewhere. Again, I gotta find it and then I will pack it. My external hard drive, my AirPods, my Bible and journal. This journal I got when I was in LA at this little dollar store and their stuff was so cute. And so I just got this journal and then this little sticker set, which was like these little treats and I just decorated the journal. My Bible, which has a bunch of notes in it right now. The thing I like about this Bible is it has like space on the side to journal inside of it. So I love doing that as a way to engage with scripture. I'm also gonna throw into my backpack this Lululemon bag, which has gum, hand sanitizer, a little mini thing of deodorant, some lotion, some breath spray, a pen, pretty much a bunch of little essentials. So that's gonna be super easy. You made it to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, comment the green heart emoji so that I know who the real ones are. Thanks for sticking around. You would also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe so that you don't miss any of my other videos and I will see you in my next video. Bye.